Hey, welcome to Dayton, Ohio here on GoBlueRaiders.tv. It's been a busy day for the Blue Raiders. It started early this morning. Everybody arrived on campus about 7 a.m. The buses rolled uh, for our charter flight out of Smyrna. And uh, the thing that struck me, Kyle, that it was very much like every road trip we have taken this year. You're absolutely right. You wouldn't know the difference, to be perfectly honest with you. There was no fanfare talk, anything like that. Basically, it just looked upon as a business trip. Yep, it certainly was. We got into the hotel, a, a 46 minute flight uh, to Dayton, which that was sure, that was very, very nice. Got here, a little chilly, a little rainy. Got in the hotel, had a nice lunch. Then the basketball team went and had a, uh, a very physical practice. And the word from Coach Davis was he was extremely pleased with his practice today. Yeah, they were very focused, obviously. Got a chance to put a little bit of the game plan in over at Wright State. And uh, just a chance to sort of get the jet trip out of your system and start thinking about tomorrow more from a physical perspective. What you're seeing behind us right now is the public practice that's going on and really None of the teams do a whole lot here. It's more to just kind of get used to the rims, that kind of thing. Uh, they'll have another shoot around here in the morning, uh, but tonight it will be dinner time. And uh, this beautiful arena, it's been here a long time, and but it, this, this uh, first four uh, session for Wednesday night, or Tuesday night and Wednesday night, has been sold out since October. That just tells you that this community of Dayton has really embraced this event. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I think the guys would, might be a little surprised, quite frankly, by the environment tomorrow night. And it's not just the fans of the teams that are playing, but it's fans from the community that, as you said, they've embraced this and they've turned this into a prime time event. So here it is. Day one in Dayton is almost in the books. And again, we did pack for three games. So we're just getting started here, folks. So be sure and stick with us. The Blue Raider Network is on the air tomorrow night. 7.30 Central Time on Tuesday. Uh, Tip-off schedule for just after 8 o'clock, of course. It is on television as well with Marv Albert. And uh, oh, that, that is one story I did want to talk about. We get off the elevator today, and there's a big traffic jam in the hallway. And it's all of our players wanting to get their picture made with Craig Sager. So they've never asked you and I to have their picture made, have we? Uh, not yet, no. So, all right, well, that may be coming down the road. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. that was what's going on here today in Dayton. Uh, talk it up tomorrow, be thinking great thoughts, Middle Tennessee and the Gales of St. Mary's. Uh, it's going to be a really interesting matchup and I think two very good basketball teams. Very good basketball team. St. Mary's is a big team, physical team. You see a lot of ball screens offensively, man-to-man -man defense defensively, uh, similar styles. Coach Davis just said in his press conference that uh, Della Vadova is the very best at what he does in college basketball. So the uh, you figure the matchup between Della Vadova and Middle Tennessee's point guards from a defensive standpoint, that's where the game could be won or lost. He's going to have the ball in his hands a lot, Chip. Now think about this. He's their leading scorer. He also averages six and a half assists per game. Wow. So controlling him is going to be a big part whether we advance or whether we go home. That's right. Three words, survive and advance. No that question. is That's the mantra for Tuesday. So Blue Raider Nation, we're here in Dayton. We're ready to go. Glad you could be with us. And keep watching GoBlueRaiders.tv and find out all the details you need to find on GoBlueRaiders.com.